about him. I, that, you know, so people should just give him I, give him a chance. People should remove religion, remove tribal, you know, tribal. Let's just be one Nigeria for once and fight that demon in Nigeria, destroying everybody in Nigeria. So we need people, uh, we need uh, Peter Obi. Let's make it happen. Please. Um, okay, you okay. made a, a lot of people are asking, did you buy this your dog? Mm -hmm. in what, what, they're asking me what? This is your dog, did you buy it in Lekki? No, this is um, Cockroach Spina. Oh. A very expensive dog. Did you say that's my daughter's dog? Well, Cockroach Spina. Oh, oh, that's the breed of the dog. Yeah, that's the breed of the dog. Yeah, those dogs from Lekki. No, it's not Lekki. This is I'm in Ireland, uh, Dublin. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got my good friend and brother Gaius, aka Bitcoin Chief, who I'm going to drag his shed this night. You said <laughs> I should buy it. <laughs> I bought Ethereum at one thousand five hundred dollars. I bought one Ethereum. I've lost my money. It's one thousand dollars. <laughs> How you think of your what, money? <laughs> what am I going to do? You then, just, you just bought. bought. Ape two is down, <laughs> but the other one, Gala, that you recommended, is doing quite well. First of all, before you answer any Peter or big question, what's happening with with our money in Bitcoin? Well, uh, like I've always said, everyone should come into the crypto space with long term mindset. I've been in this thing since two thousand and eleven. This is not the first or the fifth time it's going down. If you remember, uh, when I was in Rwanda, when I was talked in Rwanda, the last time me and you, we discussed uh, before this last time now. Remember, we were discussing how Bitcoin fell from $8,300 to $3,000 plus. Dollars. When you yes. were talking, you know, on the, when you had a program like that, so with one lady. So, yeah. see where we are to today. That is just like... Uh, Two years later, see where we are at 20,000 right now, where the price is currently holding. So, I think the market is just the market was just reacting to that all time high of $69,000. And I have always said that anybody who is not looking at investing for long term, that wasn't the right time to buy. Unfortunately, most of the people who are who always buy when the price is very high, they shy away from it when the price comes down this is this is the perfect time for anybody buying to be buying but unfortunately not so many persons will be buying but when you see the price starts pumping again to 50 60 20 000, all of them they want to buy at that time so it's normal for the markets to do this once in a while after an all-time high we are going to go into the bearish market and it prepares us again for another all-time high mm. Mm. I, want, I want to say something can i say something Yes, okay. uh, you know the the Fed they just increased the they just hike the rate. the rate the interest rate. Now I'm reading something about the I think the uh some I think a group of people wants to uh file lawsuit against uh, Elon Musk. I think they were so, but uh, the story have not really been clear. You know I'm still just trying to why, you know. Why why are they filing the lawsuit? Yeah, because they said they were messing around the the coin, the, the coin. Like when you read about the Dutch coin, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Dutch co yeah saw, the Dutch coin, yeah. I saw the news that uh, a particular investor is filing a lawsuit against Elon Musk. Yes. My take on that, which I left, I left a comment on the page where I saw it, is that that person definitely will not win. Everybody knows that they, everybody knows that the crypto market is a volatile market which is why they always advise everybody to do your own research. Because Elon Musk is promoting it doesn't mean that you should buy it. Nobody is going to take responsibility for anybody's loss in crypto. When you're buying crypto, you know that you, know, you should know what you're buying into, and you should know that definitely you're opening yourself up to a very, usual, a very high unusual risk. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure that lawsuit is going to be thrown out, especially here in the United States. Yeah, and another thing I want to say, like today I went out 
I didn't know that they have the, the machine. Version, they always drag too much. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So okay. Never even okay. Like, I didn't know that they have they have this thing ATM for for the crypto. You know, Bitcoin. I just went to. Huh? There is something called Bitcoin ATM where you can go there yeah. and buy and sell Bitcoin and get cash. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Final question, um, Bitcoin Chief. It's not easy to get you on our live before we enter Peter Obi. I asked you that day if I could buy Dogecoin, and you said no. Why? Uh, if anybody that has followed me will see that I'm not a fan of meme coins. Even during the all-time high of Doge, some persons I brought into the crypto space, like one of them made up to $4 million from Doge, but I never bought Doge. So I am not a fan of meme coin, Doge, Shiba, all those meme coins, I'm not a fan of them, probably because I'm an old investor. And I know that definitely they are just like, um, they, have no, they have no use case or no utility. Even though the entire industry right now is not really hanging on utility. But if you are someone that you're looking at the long term, you want to buy something that has, that has use, whereby tomorrow if the price doesn't go up, you can use it to do something. So I've never been a fan of Dogecoin. I've never bought into it. I've never promoted it. Even Shiba and the rest of other meme coins. So that was why I told you, don't buy Dogecoin. Instead, buy Ape and these other crypto projects that have utilities. Okay, thank you very much. That was off point, but we're back now to Peter Obi. Um, what is your take? I can see that you are an active Peter Obi supporter. Tell us why. And the whole Fadambaka, um, Bianca saga, what is your take? Well, uh, I've been a supporter of Peter B even during the last, even during the last election when he was in PDP. I've always been a fan of his type of politics. Uh, like, like most of us, his fans will always say, "Go verify." The man, if you look into the man's eye, you're going to see that sincerity of purpose. I believe that for everybody vying for president right now, he is the most qualified, and we all know that. We all know that he's the most qualified and most prepared to be president of Nigeria. Myself, like I will always say, I don't even plan to even come to Nigeria even for the next 10 or 20 years. So I have actually escaped or sorted myself. The reason why I want him to be president, the reason why I want him to be president is not because, it's not because of any other thing, but because the way things are going in Nigeria right now, as a leader myself, I have people who look up to me, my family members, my friends here on Instagram. People are seriously going through so much that if you hear the story of some persons, you are going to really cry. Some persons don't even eat. And most of these challenges that we are going through is as a result of the wrong people being in positions in Nigeria. So what Nigeria needs right now, especially with what Farambaka said yesterday, there's too much of waste in the politics of Nigeria right now. Before people know, in, in case nobody knows, I worked at the National Assembly Abuja for four good years as a senior special advisor on new media to a senator. And when I'm telling you about excess waste right now in the politics of Nigeria, I believe that Nigeria needs a president that is prudent, a president that understands how to make money. The problem Nigeria is facing right now, even though we have the youngest po population of youth in Africa right now that can actually create and produce, is because the government is not creative. So the government does not know how to utilize the population of young people that it has. Instead, every, instead the people in government try to kill any form of creativity that the young people try to exhibit. So I believe that having someone as Peter B in governance as the president is going to create, is going to, is, he and his team, they are going to create lots of uh, 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 money generation opportunities for the government, just the way he did in Anambra. If you check the statistics, he, I'm check the statistics, he has been rated as the best governor when it, when it comes to saving money. As 
his predecessor really had so much to start with. So I believe that if we can give him chance for four, I believe that if we can give him chance for four to eight years, he's going to, he might not really change Nigeria. In fact, I'm telling you, this is the first time since I left Nigeria that, that, that I am interested in the politics of Nigeria. And I'm telling you that I myself, I have given up in Nigeria. I had already said that it's going to take 100 years to fix Nigeria. Why? Because of the people have been so damaged that their mindset is even a problem to changing everything in Nigeria. So Peter B is not coming to transform Nigeria overnight, but we need someone that can put it on that path. It's going to take more than eight years to get Nigeria, especially from where Oli Buari has put it. But Peter B is that person that can set it on the right path. And you know, one thing about governance, when someone comes and raises the bar, the other person coming in right now is going to do so much to try to see how he can beat what the predecessor did. So as Buari is going out now, Buari needs someone's... Uh, as Buari is going out now, Buari has done so much damage. So Nigeria needs someone as Peter B to come in and set a very high bar so that the next person coming to take over from him is going to also do so much. Before we have like five more presidents, the country will be on the path of greatness where it's supposed to be. So I don't believe that Peter B is coming to transform Nigeria in eight years, but he's going to put some of those institutions in place that will truly change Nigeria. Okay. If you had five minutes with Father Ambaka, what would you tell him? Well, like I've always said, personally, I don't believe in religion. And I believe that Mbaka is a scam. He's actually from my state, Enugu State. I believe that he's a scam. And not just a scam, not just a scam, he's also a, he's also a criminal. Most of these ah. guys in, most of these guys in religious uh, 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 businesses, most of these guys, they leverage on they, le they, uh, 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 they leverage on their members to get rich. And when they and and they always tell them, they always try to drive them like a sheep, because goats are very stubborn. They always try to drive them like sheep. So I believe that what he did yesterday was very uncalled for. First of all, this man has not done you anything wrong. The only thing he said was that show me what you want me to invest this money in. Show me where you are building this thing. Let me go and do it. And that is, you see, this is the, this is the problem of religion in Africa. No accountability. No accountability. You just want people to just give you money. What do you want to do with this money? You, are not, you don't want them to know. So you are asking this man to donate to your uh, business organization, aka church or whatever. And this man is telling you that, show me what you want to build. You don't know if he wants to even bring you a contractor that will build the whole thing. But because he's not making commitments there in public, you want to just you want to just uh, you want to just talk the man down. But I believe Nigerian youths are wiser right now. 2023 is not going to be business as usual. Whether Peter B wins or not, the truth I'm going to tell you is that he has caused a revolution. The people are going to yes. get more involved with government. The people are going to start holding their leaders accountable. And one final thing I want to say here is that if you are a young Nigerian, especially those of you still in Nigeria, if you are a young Nigerian and you're still in Nigeria right now, get involved in politicking. Get, get involved in politics. When I mean get involved in politics, what I'm saying is that get your PVC. If, the, if you are saying that your vote does not count, these politicians definitely won't be paying for you to come and vote for them. They won't be doing so many things. And then our people need so much sensitization. Talk to, if, any, if all of us here on this video call now can talk to five persons closest to us, you're going to see that a revolution is going to happen. So everybody needs to get involved. Lastly, what P2B has done, whether he wins or not, he has set the country in this part of greatness that even if the next president comes, people are going to really x-ray the president. Hmm. Hmm. Very, very... Personally, I don't believe uh, Father Mbaka is a scam. 
I just believe that. Well, that's a, that's that's your own. That's that's yes, your own. That, you know, and you know, uh, I just believe that religion has been given, and I preached about this early on. Religion has been too much preeminence in Nigeria. That is why the 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 ideas or, or suggestions of religious leader are held in such high esteem to the point where he can give a political comment and people would take him that seriously. Where you live, is that how religious people put their mouth inside government matter? In fact, they are not even concerned about it. They you stay know? out of Unfortunately, that's not the case in Nigeria. Mm. So, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Does anybody have a question for Bitcoin Chief? Because Bitcoin Chief, now get this night. While we're waiting for Bitcoin Chief questions, let me ask you, yeah, like you had five minutes with Father Ambaka. You know you are young, so be respectful. What would you tell him? Give me that. Um, first question I would ask him is, the net worth is $50 million. What do you do? Good. Or what do you Good. do to <laughs> Good. Wow. Let's, let's... <laughs> like, how did you get there? Okay, you Googled it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure it's his real net. I'm not sure it's his real net worth either. But we're seeing well, twenty, we're 20 seeing, million. Yeah, we're seeing twenty million before. Wow. We're seeing twenty million, and it's in the dollar. Okay, so Why? um, <laughs> Yella asks, dear Father Mbaka, they say you have some millions in dollars. Nothing is wrong with that, but how? I, how did where? you get them? Is it Bitcoin? Is it Dogecoin? Is it Peter Hobi? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Paul? No, <laughs> he got uh, it. He got, he got it. Not, it's, 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 I don't have a question. Oh, she's a poor child. She doesn't yeah, know. She, she, wants, she wants to join your church. Join his administration. What's the name of this? Adoration <laughs> Ministries. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, if we know how you are getting it, I will leave Christian and come and join Adoration Ministry one time. So, um, I think we're just going to take one question. Uh, um, from the people, someone said, "Will Bitcoin?" <laughs> <laughs> someone said, "Amen, coin." Chaos. Why are your people like this? <laughs> why are your people not well like this? <laughs> you know. So, anyway, since you guys don't have any question for Bitcoin. Uh, um, it's not easy to have celebs like this in our midst. So trust me, Bitcoin chief is. It's not after. I just wish I'd waited till now. Now, now for Sweet Me to buy that Ethereum. Well, as you know, Ethereum is like the next, next in line when it comes to crypto. That is very, very sure. So. But same thing they were saying about Luna and where is Luna today? No, 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 no. You can't compare. You can't compare Ethereum to Luna. I'm telling you the truth. You can't compare Ethereum to Luna. Ethereum has first of all been there since 2011. Then it has the most infrastructure when it comes to blockchain. In fact, if Ethereum is able to drop these their transaction fees that has made so many projects leave them, if they can drop down their drop down their transaction fee even by 20%. So many persons are going, so many persons will prefer to continue using Ethereum than any other network, even the Binance chain and the rest of them that are lesser. Okay. Ethereum, has, Ethereum has built the kind of blockchain that, that, that is very solid and trustworthy. So you can't compare them to Luna. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Is, it, is right now a good time to buy Adoration Coin? Adoration Coin? <laughs> <laughs> you are going to have the last contribution for the day go ahead hello daddy first good evening or should i say good morning hello bitcoin chief good evening i've been following you for quite a long time now please Yes, I'm listening to you. But 
Okay, sorry. Please, I want to ask you um, a brief question about NFTs, you know. There's actually this impossible thing, NFT, that is launching. I think it's already live right now. I don't know if you've heard of it. Like, it's being powered by Origin. Okay. Impossible thing. I don't know. You've not heard of it. Like, it's a very big project. Like, but they are selling, they are minting for 54 ICP. You know, that's about three hundred and six dollars, you know. What do you think about it? If you've heard about it, like do you think it's a good investment right now with what the market is doing, like ICP, Bitcoin is just falling, everything is falling down with it. So what do you think? Do you think it's a wise investment to do right now? Okay, so first thing I want to tell you first, I want you to understand certain things about NFT. NFTs are not as easy to sell as crypto. First, first, you need to understand it. NFTs are not as easy to sell as crypto. So this is why I have always advised everyone that before you get involved in NFT, do enough research about that particular project. Make sure it is something that you believe in, even if you cannot sell it. Let me give you an example. If I hold any crypto now, I can go to the exchange where that crypto is listed and just put it on something called market price, which is whatever the price is, even if it's zero, sell it at zero. Even if Abu it's 0 0.1, sell it at 0 0.1. That is what you can do for crypto. You can, if, if the value is still remaining small, you can go to the exchange and empty it out. But you see for NFT, NFT someone else like yourself needs to come and buy that nft from you so which means if nobody comes to buy that nft from you you are stuck with it so i don't know this yeah. nft that you're talking about now but there are lots of nft myself i've not really paid attention i have been paying attention to them small small i i i bought a bought in i bought a whole lot of nfts i'm even about to create some for for a project I'm working on. But one thing you need to understand about NFTs is that buy NFTs because you believe in what that NFT gives you access to. So think of NFT like an event. Think of think of an NFT like a ticket to an event. The video is organizing a concert now. And the video is promising you that if you're holding this the video NFT, you can have free access to that event. So you're not buying that ticket to that event to go and resell it. You're buying that ticket to that event so that if you go to the video show, they will allow you to enter inside. So that is how you should think of an NFT as a utility, as something that gives you access to something that you are very interested in. This is because sometimes you may not be able to see who will buy this NFT from you. Now, what gives value to this NFT now is that it also has this rarity that some of some mm -hmm. of the collections are very rare. Some of them are like one of one. So if you are holding that NFT and someone else needs access to what that NFT promises to give you access to, then that person will come and offer you more money. So that's why you see people buy 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 NFT for like 0 0.5 ETA and they sell it for like one ETA or five ETA, ten ETA, which means somebody else that has come that wants to have access to have access to what to what that nft gives you access is ready to okay think of when whiskey did this event in london now so many people bought whiskey's uh ticket to his event and resold it on the day of the event if you if you attended that last event that whiskey did in london you will see that by the gate people were reselling their tickets People who bought the ticket for twenty pounds were standing by the gate and reselling it to people who were very eager to enter that event for two hundred pounds. So think of an NFT like that. So I don't really know about this NFT that you're talking about now, but do your own research. You can easily, you can easily get stuck with an NFT because if you buy this NFT right now that I am giving you, if that the freeze doesn't have the same need or the same likeness for what this NFT gives you access to, and, and if it doesn't come and offer you more money, you are stuck with that NFT. So there is, no, there is no place that you can say, okay, let me just go convert it to something else. 
Mm -hmm. So somebody actually has to buy it. All right, all right, all right. All right. And uh, what is your take? Let's go back to the point on Bianca, uh, Father Mbaka, and of course, Peter Obividoma. You answering that question, we end today's session. Yeah, please ask again. Let me hear well. Uh, please. What is your... what do you say? For... By the freeze. What is your... Please repeat the question. Yes, that's what I'm trying to. Can you hear me, Vidoma? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, the question was directed to her. Go ahead, finish off. Okay. Um. First of all, I don't. I don't. I respect elders and I also respect their opinions, but when things that has to do with the future of the youth and the future of the country is something that we should be very mindful and careful about, you know, I disagree totally with what Father Mbaka had said concerning P2B, you know, in life, you don't think about what you gain at a particular time, you think about a future investment in, in a long term, what is going to be the outcome? So what happens to you collecting money and supporting someone? What happens to the youth? What happens to the future? What happens to the country? What happens to the people? Is it just about you, your ministry, or whatsoever selfish reason that caused you to make that as in inhuman, like, I just disagree with his comment. You don't come and say something because someone has refused to, you know, give you cash for your own selfish interest. And then you you sell the, the, the future of your members, the future of the country, the future of the youth because of money, because of token. That's, that's uncalled for. That's, it's not making sense. And you're trying to say that he will not win. Are you God? You're just a man. For the fact that you have the right, you have the power, you have the authority to have people to listen to you and agree with your opinion doesn't give you that right to come and say who wins and who doesn't win. That was the same thing he did with Buhari. We've not forgotten that. He has been doing that a lot. He has been saying so many things a lot and nobody is even challenging him because one majority of his followers are scared of he's a priest and touch not my anointing. But we don't have to continue sitting on that lane and what people tell us what to do when we can see the, the real handwritings on the wall. We should understand that these men are speaking for their own selfish interest. One, they're not even speaking for the interest of the whole people. They're just speaking for themselves. He's just interested in what he gets. No, no. I, hold no, I hold no grudges against him or his ministry, okay? But I think he should be mindful of his words henceforth. Because every single detail of what he has said, nothing of it has come to pass. And he should be remembered that it is very, very uncalled for to say this that God has said when he never said. He did, he's not speaking to him. He should just show the, he's not speaking ah. to him. Like, he's, he's, he's not, he's, Give I'm just it, pissed it, off. It, like, <laughs> our future is in the hands of this 2023 election. If we continue, right. if we continue right. riding with what God said, God said, God, God doesn't have to come down to Nigeria and run it. We have to, we have to vote. Nigerians, let's get our PVC. Let's, let's not be sentimental about this whole election thing. Let's cast our vote smartly, wisely with the man with the future. I'm not saying you should vote P2B, but whenever, whenever you, if you want, if you think of who to vote, think about your future. No, okay. Think about Think about so many things you need to... A man that is selfless and... You know, there are so many things to consider. You don't, you, you don't do things... Don't do things because you are a religious person. Do not cast your vote because your pastor said. If Daddy Free says something, sorry to say this, and I don't agree with it, I would totally say I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it because he's my pastor and I listen to him. I will stand on what is right. Good. You get, I will stand on the right thing, and that's just it. I'm 
just so disappointed that we are looking up to this man to coach us to be a better human being yes. and he's coming to tell us that someone is what exactly does he intend to achieve you wanted someone to make a donation he said show me a project that is even more profiting than the money is going to give you you get show me a project and i will handle it you do i do so what what mm. I don't understand. What do you intend to achieve? Why are you misleading the the naive followers of yours? Why? Why? It's it's not worth it. Our future is is at stake here. I'm a young Nigerian. I'm in school. You know, I deserve a better Nigerian. If we keep listening to these men, we are going nowhere. And if we keep listening to Nigerians abroad, we are going nowhere. We that are in Nigeria, we have to get our PVCs and cast this vote and let the let the good man win. It's best I cast my vote to whoever I want, and the person loses. I will be happy that I cast my vote, you know. But me sitting down, I'm never going to do that, and I'm not going to sit down and listen to any old man tell me bullshit about who is going to win and who is not going to win. Enough is enough, Nigerians. Enough is enough. Let's let's get it right for once this time around. It's it's okay. Let's stop. being gullible to all these religious blind followers you know right. let's 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 be responsible in our opinion in our talk don't listen to those people that doesn't know how to guide their tongues because of their selfish Stop. interest don't do that Stop don't this. do that you've said it all <coughs> our mumu don't do god bless ah. you have said it all That you come and say yeah. God, said God, said. Yeah. Not only you, God, they even talk to for this Nigeria set. Not only you, where God, they talk to. Mm. Ah. Yeah. All right. At this juncture, it is like everybody has to go to the house and sleep. Let us <laughs> walk, and let us reflect on our lives. The mm. only mission ministry we need is available at the PVC center. and the pvc can bring the healing and adoration of god upon our land when we use it to elect into power a deserving leader okay so may god guide us may god bless us but god is not going to save nigeria he can guide us with ideas to so we can do what is right with regards to our nation we have to get up and do the work like i said daddy free sorry one last thing please before you close down please um to everyone in nigeria that has um gone to get your register for your voter's card please remember this if you have registered for your voter's card for the first time and you lost it or you misplaced it or whatsoever happened to your voter's card please do not go and register again You can use the website um I'm going to post it on my on my story so you can use it to go and verify your information and retrieve your voter's card because I learned something they've been posting online that if you've if you've done your voter's card for the first time and you're doing it again that your vote is not going to count so let's not try to make that mistake if you've registered once and you misplaced your voter's card please kindly go online and retrieve your information your data all you need is just your bet um your dates of bet and your name or your your phone number those are the things you need to retrieve it so please kindly do that and get back your first um registered voter's card don't go doing the second one please Let's be smart. We really need to show those people that we we we've had enough of this whole bad leadership. And you need to remember this secondly. See, we can't sit at home and be saying let the good man win. Uh, I'm not good enough. I'm not going to You don't do your political campaign behind your phone. Stand up. Go out campaign for the right person like do it do it the right way don't go and be collecting penny and sell your we have four years remember whoever wins this election this next year is going to have four years and is likely to have eight years so are we going to continue sitting and being um 
being ha ah, bad government bad government but now you have the right you have your pvc to to make the choice that you want you have to decide if you're going to sit and be ruled by a a a, a froster a scam a bad leader so you you have to be I'm wise old, and smart I'm about No, being old is not the issue. Old is not the issue. It's just the people that have the right interest at heart. That's just it. Thank you so much. I'm rest. I'm extremely tired, and uh, my baby girl here also needs to get some rest. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much, Dr. Free. Um, Thank you. Chief. Uh, Vidoma and everybody else who joined us. It's Daddy Freeze and this is Yella and we had a lovely political gist today. See you tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'll be holding a preaching session. I'm not sure I'm going to come live, but if anything requires my attention, trust me to be right there giving you breaking information or breaking news as I usually do. Take care and God bless. Bye. All right, good night guys. Good night.